Okay, so tonight's topic is money and abundance. Cool. Okay. So before we do the actual clearing, I just want to um, let people know, because there's some people that have not experienced a clearing before, so they don't really know what it's about or what happens, okay? So basically everything is energy. Your emotions are energy, your body's energy, everything, the air we breathe, is, everything's energy, okay? So you as a soul evolving in all your experiences, whether you have believe in reincarnation or past lives or you don't, doesn't really matter. Bottom line is this. You collect and bring forward everything that you have ever experienced. And it is in your energy field until you release it. It doesn't just go away. I think you all know that, okay? You probably ran stories through your mind over and over and over, trying to understand something, trying to let go of something, trying to figure out something, and it never works and it never will work, okay? So because energy gets lodged in your body. And there are many, many, many factors that are contributing to this energy, okay? So first we have our own reactions, we have our own emotions, we have you know, stuff from childhood, we've got um, wounding or emotional issues in our body, okay? What people are not familiar with, unless you've been in this field, is that there are interferences that are affecting you, that are compounding your experience a hundredfold that are not you, okay? So let me just tell you what those are. Some of it, some of it may seem a little out there for some of you, but it seems very normal in my world, in our world. <laughs> okay, so discarnate beings, dead people, okay, are in your body. So whatever you have within you, whatever issues you've got, are gonna be compounded. What I mean by that is if you grew up in a family of alcoholics, then you're gonna have whatever you did with your family, you're gonna have entities inside of you. If you've been molested, if you've been beaten, if you've been robbed, if you've been raped, if you've been abducted, it doesn't matter what it is. If you feel all your issues, if you feel like you're a failure, you feel like you're not good enough, you feel like you're unworthy, all of your emotional issues are like a magnet that attract the same frequency into your physical body and compound what you are experiencing, okay? That's the discarnate beings. Now those are human beings. We also have discarnate beings that are not human beings. We have frequencies that are from other time and space, other dimensions. And we have physical or energetic implants in the, in the body that affect you as well. You have um, other people's energy, you have other, you know, your family, your mothers, your fathers, your sis siblings, your beloveds, all of that energy is in your body. And whatever issues they've got, whatever emotional energy they've got inside of them that they pushed inside of you is living inside of you. And it gets really, really compounded, it gets really intense, and it's a lot of energy. People have no idea. Even in love relationships, you're trying to let go. You, end up, you break up in a relationship, you can't let go. You think about them, dream about them. You know, even though you want it to be over, 10 years later you're still having the same thing. Well, that's because their energy is in your body, your energy is in their body, okay? So you have those kinds of things. Then you have energies that it would be called the dark force energies, which is powers of darkness that actually affect your well-being, that want to stop you or inhibit you. If you bring a lot of light to the planet, I guarantee you, you will have interferences trying to stop you from shining your light, okay? Sometimes people feel physically held back, like it has a physical sensation. Like you're trying to move forward in life, you can just feel this physical sensation that doesn't allow you to move forward. Your mind is constantly running stories, a lot of those stories sorry, a lot of those mind thoughts aren't even yours. In fact, everything I'm talking about is not you. You are, you know, you're a divine being. You're full of light. But all this other stuff that you've carried forward from experiences that you haven't released make you a dark energy. So your light is hidden behind all that darkness and it can't shine forth when you have all these interferences blocking you and you think it's about something that you remember, or you think it's about your childhood, or you think it's about your parents. Well, no, it's not. It's about your whole entire 
stream of consciousness from the moment you separated from pure awareness itself. And everything that you have experienced is still in your energy field. That's why people like myself and others can check out your energy and say, oh yeah, you know, way back here, like 10,000 years ago, you had this experience. Okay, how do we see that? Your roadmap's right there. There's no secret, it's not a big deal. Anybody who has psychic abilities can sense and see things. And the truth is, everyone is an intuitive, everyone's a psychic, you just shut it down somewhere along the line. But this is how we communicate, this is how we really feel each other, is how we sense and feel one another. The thing is, is we don't want to be leaving our energy inside of somebody else's body, and we don't want people coming into our bodies. So the best way to do that is be clear on the inside. That also means clearing up wounding, clearing up traumas, shock, clear, clearing up the issues that make you feel like you don't get to have what you want, you know, whatever those are. Okay, so the biggest issues are like unworthiness, feeling unloved, like you don't matter, okay? So when we're dealing with our topic, money in abundance, and if you're not able to receive, then how do you think you're gonna have abundance of money come to you? People say it all the time, oh yeah, yeah, I want money, I want love, I want abundance. Oh yeah, well I got this big protection, I'm not gonna let anybody in. Okay, well, duh, okay? So you have to, your heart has to be open. I'm serious, if it's not open, you cannot receive, okay? And then also people have these limitations around how much money they can allow into their life. Okay, $1,000 for the week, that's too much? Oh, wow, okay, cool. Rocks your world, makes you freak out, makes you unstable, makes you scared, makes you uncomfortable. Well, what do you think you're going to bring in if you can't receive that? So, all area, you know, everything's abundance, everything. Whatever you're asking for, if the heart's open, it's coming. I guarantee it. So, you can feel inside your own self when you have a blocker when you have resistance. You can feel it. It's a sensation, it's a physical sensation, it's an emotional sensation, and you can feel it. You're not fooling yourself. You might fool others, but you're not fooling yourself, okay? So, next time you're telling people, oh yeah, I want, I want more money, or I want abundance, pay attention to that little squeeze in the heart center, because it's a physical sensation right there. Right there. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what we want to do is we want to start releasing all the, the frequencies that are contributing to and blocking you from really receiving. So just to back up just for a moment, I spoke with someone a few days back and he's asking me, <laughs> I mean this is, this is a question I get a lot, but can't we accelerate things even faster? Can't we just get every, you know, lift everything out and be, be done and let it, you know, just really be our authentic, authentic selves. I mean, that's the question that people have been asking for eons of time, okay? So, I've been working really hard to go as fast as, make things happen as fast as, as I can possibly find. So, I'm going to try again to go even faster, okay? This is for Harrison Jack, that's his name, Harrison Jack. Okay, so he's the guy who asked me. So basically, I'm going to be doing some work in a different way, same only different, um, but what I want to do is start unraveling something. I'm just going to start tracking and just see what presents, because that works best. But basically, in the clearing, when we get going, you're actually going to let yourself think about receiving, whether it be money or whether it be love or whether, you know, whatever that abundance means to you. Abundance means different things to different people. You know, some people might think, you know, big old chocolate cake on the table is abundance, okay? Somebody else might think, you know, boats or yachts are abundance. Depends on where you live and in your consciousness and what, what, me means, what it means to you. So abundance is different for everyone. In my, in my reality, in my world, um, money and abundance are kind of, everything's tied together, okay? So the ability to receive, though, is vital, it's key. And that's what we need to, to start unraveling. Because as I'm checking people, looking at people, even people that are online, 
you know, some people might have money, like there are some people that have bank, they got bank, okay? But there's other areas in their life that they don't have bank, okay? So for you, whatever it is that you really want to open your heart to, that's what I want you to bring into your awareness, okay? You know, some people, for, for some people, it might be like some kind of work that they do. Um, or it can be relationship, or it can be material things. Uh, it doesn't matter, but whatever is important to you, you, know, you, already, you already know what that is, okay? So what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be lighting that up. And what I'm looking for is the block in the heart. So when you think about the abundance or receiving or, or money, Money might, might be a good one for some, some of you, okay? So when you think, oh, I'm just gonna use money as an example. So when you think about money, I want you just to really think about money, okay? Like money, I want you to see money and, and hear money, feel money, smell money, but then I also want you to start paying attention to what does this feel like when you think about receiving all that money, okay? So when you think about that, Notice the frequency in the heart center. It might have a quality of a slight angst feeling, a slight, like a little anxiety feeling. It might have, a, like it also might have a quality of fear, but there's, a, there's an energy in the heart center that starts to shake or vibrate when you bring that into your awareness, okay? So like I said, it doesn't matter what, top, what it is that you want abundance in, Notice what this feels like. Notice the heart center. Now, in your mind, you might be able to think about things like, oh yeah, it probably has to do with deserving, or it has to do with unworthiness, or maybe, maybe I'm just bad, or maybe you know, I'm not good enough, or you know what I mean? So these are all mind thoughts that you're gonna spin in your head, but none of them are gonna really reach what's really going on. Just as a reminder, Anything that you think of in your conscious mind is in your conscious mind. The only way you're gonna access your subconscious is through dropping in to what something feels like. That's when you start accessing the subconscious, okay? So I'm just gonna share with you the, 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 the angst of everyone's <laughs> existence, okay? It's all about love. If you can receive love, then you can receive everything. Okay, so if someone says to you, I love you, I really love you, what happens in your body? What happens in your heart center? Do you feel like, ah, oh, receive, receive, oh, it's awesome, I can really take that in, or is there like a little, little thing that goes like this? <laughs> Okay, that right there, see this? Money, money, oh, falls away. Abundance, oh, falls away. Can't get in if you got this frequency here. But who are you gonna blame? <laughs> There's no one to blame. It's not about blame, it's about discovering and unraveling why you have the resistance. What happened that you feel unloved, that you feel undeserving, okay? So we can just put it all to this lifetime, make it real simple. In the womb, what was your mother experiencing? You drank in her frequency, her energy, and whatever she was experiencing, you drank it in and like poison. You didn't know that what her feelings or her thoughts or her worries or her fears or her concerns were her, you didn't know that. All you knew was this frequency is hitting your body. So even before you're born, while you're being uh, formed inside your mom's womb, you're drinking it all in. And so whatever, for those time, that time period, whatever was happening with her, her family, or, or your dad, your dad, it's all affecting you. So then you come into the world, if there's birth trauma, then you're really screwed. <laughs> because then it's like, you know, trauma, it's like this is what you come in with and then that's, that's your whole reality is the world, the life is trauma. And then it just keeps going from there. But what people don't understand is that 
you're trying to unravel trauma. You're try trying to unravel the past so that you can live free and open. But what happens is, is you draw conclusions about life and then you decide that it's not safe. How many people, does every people remember like your very, very, very first love and that was great and then it ended and it broke your heart or whatever and then you said, I'll never love again? Anybody do that? <laughs> I was in the sixth grade, I didn't say that, but it didn't last. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> you, took a, you made a promise to yourself. You took an oath. I'm, I hate to tell you this, but when you did that, it echoes for eternity. And then you, want, then you decide, okay, yeah, I'm ready for love, but no, now you, your heart's still closed down because you had some kind of trauma. Or, you, or in your family growing up with your parents, you know, you got upset with your parents. Or how many, you know, you've seen little kids where the mom or dad says, you know, don't pick that up. And then the kid it takes that as a personal affront, like there's something wrong with them. They've done something bad. They're going to be punished on and on because maybe the parent got a little tweak because they were picking up something up that was like dangerous or hurtful or harmful. The child doesn't know that. All they know is the reaction that they are having towards the, what their parent is saying to them. So, you know, the psyche is very fragile. People don't realize that, but it really is. And it doesn't take much to fracture that, okay? So we want to go deep into the unraveling. So what I'm going to be focusing on is the heart centers, but I'm also going to be working with... Um, bringing in more of your true, divine, pure energy frequency that doesn't have trauma, that doesn't have shock, that doesn't have all this energy frequencies interfering with it. Okay, so that's what we want to work with tonight with, with this particular clearing. And so, so the body basically carries everything and it wants to unravel. So the, in the unraveling, Part, like I was saying before, partly what's happening is you're recreating events over and over and over again. Same, only different. You all, you've all had that experience where you keep recreating and it's like, oh, here we go again. Has anybody ever said that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You're thinking it's about God's punishing you, something's wrong with you, it's their fault. No, people. Your higher levels are bringing to you exactly what you need to cause the body to have a reaction so that you will know what still lives inside of you, but it's not about going into the reaction and making it about out there. It's about dropping into how does this make you feel so you can unravel this pain, this, this wounding, and be done with it and let your heart open and let your light shine. It's very simple, basic um, truth. It's just that it's not that easy to do, as you all know. You all learned how don't go into feeling places, you know, bury it, don't go there, make you go crazy. And that's true, <laughs> that reminds me. When people do this really deep, profound emotional work, they do think they're gonna go crazy. Mm -hmm. And or, and or, they think they're gonna die, for real, or, and or, they, and all of it, they can also feel like they'll never, never come out of it. I hear, it's like I hear that every single time when there's really deep, deep, deep unraveling to do. And yet, it's the only way to release these frequencies out of your body so you're no longer drawing the same situations, oh, here we go again, to you, all you're trying to do is unravel it. It's so simple, it's basic. A, B, C, got it? Okay, so now use it. <laughs> okay, so abundance, money and abundance. Everything really boils down to you. It boils down to how open is your heart to receive. So like I was saying earlier, we have all these interferences that are compounding everything, that are contributing to why we're closed down, why we're not receiving. But the bottom line is, is we cannot make it about somebody else. And I can tell you straight up, you are not being punished by creation. It's just simply not the truth. You are creator incarnate. I'm telling you, you are that. That means you are creating your life 
in everything that happens within your own self, in this temple. You are radiating out frequencies and you're drawing frequencies to you. That's why it's always about us. We can't be looking at somebody else. We have to be looking at ourselves. So the bottom line is this, humanity's heart is closed. Very, very few people on the planet have an open heart where love is just there, okay? So to get the most out of this um, clearing, what you want is to start to feel that heart center. Okay, and like I said earlier, we're gonna utilize the different pieces that whatever, whatever works for you wherever, you, wherever you are. And okay, here's another thing. Your beliefs really interfere <laughs> with your life, okay? And you have no idea how many beliefs you have. You have a belief around everything. You, you, you know, you're constantly judging people. Well, guess what? Everybody you're judging, you're, you know, it's like all you're seeing is your, your own self right there. And, you know, that wanting to blame and making somebody else, it's your fault, it's your, you're the reason I'm suffering. Why'd you do this to me? You're hurting me. Bottom line is, no, you're already hurting. You're already hurting. And that's why you pulled in the partner that you pulled in because you're trying to unravel all this hurting. Okay, so when you think about receiving, some of you are gonna use money, some of you are gonna use something else, whatever that is, okay? I want you to just really hold that in your awareness. And when you feel into this, as, as this is another thing, when you can let yourself feel how something makes you feel, you actually light things up for me. Okay? If you don't help me out, if you don't participate by doing what I'm asking you to do, it makes it more challenging for me to find all the components that are, that are in your body. So when you let yourself feel, uh, let's just do money, we'll do money. Okay, let's just say, okay, so I'm thinking about money. I really want money. I want more money to come. And you, keep, you can say all the mantras you want, and it's not going to work. You can, you can say, say positive thinking, it's not going to work. Okay, it's all about what's the frequency you're feeling in your heart. Okay, so when you feel into your heart center, right into that, the chest area in the heart, and you think about receiving money, you can feel frequencies in your body. So after you feel the frequencies, what I really want from you is drop into how does it make you feel. Okay, feelings, emotions, not mind. When you do that, you light a bunch of stuff up for me. When you don't do that, all I see is your mind frequencies and all these other things that are just interferences. It doesn't help me at all, okay? So when you think about money, just feel into that. Don't use the mind, just take your awareness, feel the heart center, and think about, okay, receiving, receiving, receiving. And there might be little mind chatters, you might have little thoughts that present, I'm not looking for the thoughts. What I'm looking for, what I want you to present and show me is how does it make you feel? Okay, so if it makes you feel afraid, then be afraid and drop into that fear frequency and then drop in a little bit deeper to get a sense of what's underneath that. Okay, so, so if there's a feeling of sadness, okay, then let it be there. Don't stop the feeling. It doesn't mean you need to go into it and do some big process, it's not about that. All I need you to do is feel into it, light it up, and then I'm gonna ask you to get out of the way. To get out of the way, what that means is you take your focus off of the issue because I don't want you in the way. If you keep your awareness there, you interfere with, my, with me clearing you. Okay, so you get out of the way. You either think of something else or you just listen to my voice. That's all you gotta do, okay? So I'll bring you, and then I'll bring you back at some point, light it up again for me, and feel what's happening. So as we're clearing stuff, there's nothing for you to do other than light things up and get out of the way. Easy, simple, okay? And then too, what's really cool, is you can call in other people into the room. 
So if you've got people that you would like them to have the clearing, you can do your parents, you can do your beloveds, you can do your friends, I don't care. You can bring in all the people you want. Bring them in. Because the more people we bring in, the better the world's going to be. Okay? And what's really cool, you guys, it works. I can tell you straight up, it works. I've had people calling in their, their son, like bringing him in, bringing him in. All he had was dark energy and life sucked. You know, and pretty soon, everything changed. Everything changed. And all we did was call him in. Okay, so you can call your friends in, you can call your, it doesn't matter who, just call them in. The other thing that's important I want you to do is also call me in to stand right beside you. So even though I'm right here in the room, when you do that, you will actually feel my presence right beside you. That helps me to literally be with each of you separately, individually, even people online, it doesn't matter, but you will feel that presence and you'll know I'm right there. Okay, that's how you help me to help you.